It's time for local stories from across the East. Local food. Local fashion. Local businesses. This is your home for local. This is the East's Daily Download on Eastern North Carolina CW. John, I bring you to the Wood Ducks Team this Store. This is the famed Team Store that I've heard so much. Oh, that's a lot of oh, avocado oh, themed merch. Look, there's a camera in here. Oh, hey Bryce, what's up? Hello, welcome to the East Daily Download. My name is Mark, that's John. Hi, I'm John. And we have come to the famed Friday show. Yeah, right here in uh, Historic Ranger Stadium. In Kinston. At, yeah, in Kinston at the Wood Ducks Team Shop. I only get a chance to look at everything that they have to offer here. There's All that sweet, sweet merch. The, uh, the big one right now from what we have been told by our good friend Alexa is anything with the avocados de luchadores down east. Um, this is pretty nice. It's soft too. It's like look at all those How many little stitches avocados. Is that? Uh, it says 108 stitches. 108 that, but that might stitches. just be the brand That's impressive. Um, I mean, there's yeah, jerseys, all and, of this. you know, hats. There's plenty of stuff here yeah. to look at, try on, and because of the world the way it is right now, the store is not open to the public. However, it is open to the internet. You can get all of this stuff online, get it shipped to you. Yes, yeah, so even if you are in Greenville or Jacksonville or Washington or New Bern or any place that you, you, just down the road, you still can't come in. But again, it's go, all there online, available all and, the time. And no time whatsoever to get it to your door. Yeah. Um, or if you're across the world and watching this on the famed uh, WNCT mobile app or online. Solid plug. And uh, you're living in, let's say, Germany for whatever reason. Guten Tag. You can then go online to the you know, team store and get sent to Germany or wherever. Uh, it's all good. That's the point is you can get this to your door delivered in no time. Yeah. And also, please watch our mobile app. <laughs> So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look for some sweet team merch. Mm -hmm. uh, if you guys would be so kind as to check the story out, and we'll meet you back here in a little bit. How about that? Got a lot of stuff over here. is gone, but the glass bottle doesn't have to go in the trash. On this episode of Let's Craft, we're going to upcycle. First rinse, dry, then grab the paint. One color, two, then a few more, and it's time to wait. A few hours later, add some flowers. I picked up these fall finds for 50% off. Centerpieces ready for your table or your party. For this episode of Let's Craft, I'm Shayla Reeves. This year's summer hunger came early for many families here in the East. The Food Bank of Central and Eastern North Carolina is asking for your help to stop summer hunger. With school cafeterias closed, these kids have lost access to two meals a day. That's why Not In Your Sides Caring for Carolina is asking for your help with this important mission to feed those families in need. Visit WNCT.com to learn how to donate your time, food, and money to the Food Bank of Central and Eastern North Carolina in their fight to stop summer hunger. Hi, I'm Ashley and welcome to Let's Draw. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw a mug. Let's get started. Remember to draw lightly with your pencils. To start us off, you will need to draw two squished oval shapes, one larger than the other. The larger one should always be above the smaller one. Next, we add two lines connecting the ends of the ovals together to make a tapered tube shape. Looks like a glass of water right now. Next, we decide on a shape for the handle. I went for an elongated C shape. Finally, we erase the inner line of the bottom oval. We do this to make it look more like an opaque mug. 
And voila, you have a mug. You can put all sorts of design on your mug to make it more personal. Try using other shapes instead of ovals and see what unique mugs you can make. Hey, we're back here on the East Daily Download. We are in Kinston, Historic Ranger Stadium at the Wood Ducks team store. John and I are taking a look at different merchandise that we <sighs> could get. Oh, there he is right back there. Um, there's, you know, polo shirts or golf shirts, however you want to call that. Uh, nice. I don't think it's really what I'm looking for. Um, Wood Ducks baseball. I like that. Think about this uh, cornbread looking dude. I think I pull oh, up a yeah, green the beard. Green. Yeah. I definitely could see you doing that. Yeah, I'll give that a shot. I like Try stuff. that on. And um, he's got these soft t shirts as well. Ooh, this has apparently been a big seller good. in here uh, since this debuted in the, se the 2019 season. Let's see. I will buy that. I'm going to order one of these online. I think that color is just great. Yeah. Feel and there's also okay. the white one. And just, I mean, they're just the huge. Yeah, no, we've got like all the selection. I mean, you should get this and that and wear them both. So it's like an overload. It's of just a full package. Like everyone's going to know. And maybe exactly. they have pants somewhere that you could wear with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go with that. It's like a you know, collard greens track suit. Um, one of the other cool things that they've got. Pato Yoyos, which was from the 2019 season. The color's great. Um, just looks really nice. They still have some of these left, so go online. Get get what you can. Uh, okay, speaking of getting what you can, I feel like there's a segue here into the WNCT mobile app. Haha. Uh, you can get that, no cost, absolutely free to you, wherever you are. Download it at Google Play or the App Store. You get the app and you can watch this show for free anywhere. You could be at the game, you could be in the team store, you could be at home on the couch, it does not matter. We do not judge, we encourage. Um, and uh, speaking of encouraging, I encourage you to stick around, check this next story out as we continue our uh, expedition across the team store, I guess. Yeah, we got some plush stuff over here that needs some uh, looking we'll be back at. in a minute. my personal grievance for minor league baseball and the contest that they had <laughs> on the website um, at milb.com was for picking the best hat for yeah. the the copa de Cop la Virgen. yeah the, the league the wood ducks went past the first round mm -hmm. i was voting as many times as Thank i was allowed you. to um, <laughs> because it was really one of the probably 10 best logos of the 94 or so that were there i mean it really was Thank matthew you. did Thank a great you. job he did. with that he's very talented kudos to matthew <laughs> were you guys involved at all with that or did they just tell you they were doing the contest and you just found out like everybody else yeah did? i was a little bit of both i mean they told us ahead of time so that we could you know get stuff out and make sure our fans are knowing, but it was pretty much all in my LB. The wood, uh, the wood ducks, the, the avocados should have been there in my opinion, but I was just a voter. What do I Thank know? Thank you. <laughs> um, but, but the Hickory team also had a really yes, good one as they, well. Their logo is great. There's, they're the llamas. Just want our fans to know that we miss you guys and we are also ready for baseball to start back. So you guys can follow us to pretty much learn or know anything that we're doing at Go Wood Ducks on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Okay, well, I would give you a big handshake, know. but you know. How air about high we, five. Air, well, high, air five. high five. <laughs> That's it from the uh, Historic Granger <laughs> Stadium, and we'll see you soon. Business is slow in Uptown without students at ECU. Owners agree. We're very excited to have students back. We're really excited for students to be back. It's good news for everyone that students will return to campus in the fall. For me, as a business where students frequent, uh, I want nothing more than students to return safely back to campus. Brett Oliverio owns Sup Dogs in Uptown. 
He says this is a crazy time to own a business in a college town. Uh, a lot has been changing. It seems like every week uh, things change. Uh, so this is some welcome good news. He says it takes more manpower to run a restaurant at limited capacity with social distancing guidelines. It's causing revenues to decline. It takes a lot more resources and we spend more money staffing uh, for these situations. So having students back to campus will, uh, will definitely help. Catalog Connection is another go to uptown business for students. Manager Megan Houston says it was hard to reopen the shop during phase two. Typically during the summer it is our slower season um, just because we're right beside campus. Um, we do love our locals coming in during the summertime, but when students come back, our business picks up. No one knows exactly what the fall will bring. The hope is kids in town, business should be better. In Uptown Greenville, Caroline Boyer, 9 on your side. Hey, we're back here on the East Daily Download in the Team Store in Kinston at Historic Granger Stadium. Officially licensed peeps with the little bandito mask. Like the you can imagine seat. just the, the flamenco guitar in the background as you fling this across the room. He's, he's getting very deep. Mm. Um, there's the uh, soft plush dude uh, that you can get if you have small children. Great, great present. Mm -hmm. Also, foam finger. We're number one. We're number one, uh, and multiple colors. This, this, this is good. A, this is a figure whose softness I cannot put into words. Yes, yeah, very. That's soft. very soft. We still have a lot of stuff to look at. Oh, and if you like uh, collecting baseballs, or if you have a small child, a lot of this over here is for smaller kids, mm -hmm. uh, like a grandkid or a nephew or a niece or a, you know, uh, just a baby at home, and you want some wood ducks gear. These are soft little baseballs that are logoed. And we also have lapel pins if you like collecting lapel pins. Small so jerseys. there's all kinds of stuff. And there's plenty of child sizes here as well. Mm -hmm. um, and there's pom poms. And we've been told that these are purchased quite a bit, but oddly, they're very rarely seen in the stands. So I'm not sure what that's about, but why don't we check out the next story? And we'll be back here to wrap things up. Here, you take that one. Oh, thanks. That's what I always wanted. On the East Daily Download. Graduation is a huge accomplishment. Now try adding a pandemic on top of the years of hard work and dedication, and it has all the more meaning. That is why a group of bus drivers in Ohio got together to show their students how proud they are of their accomplishments. The drivers parked together for a special shout out, framing a giant 2020 using their buses. This was just one small token to show how proud they are of the kids. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Oak Park, Michigan, Elijah Kamradi's graduation ceremony was put on hold due to the pandemic. Last month, he contracted COVID-19 and was admitted to the Rehabilitation Institute of Michigan. After time in recovery at the hospital, Kamradi wore his cap and gown when he was released. Hospital workers lined the hallway applauding him as he reunited with his family. And in the city of brotherly love, a newly married couple brought a touch of romance and joy to a crowd during a Black Lives Matter protest. The video shared shows the moment Dr. Carrie Ann Perkins and her husband Michael Gordon embraced in solidarity during this moving time. The two newlyweds joined the protest just moments after tying the knot in Philadelphia earlier this month. Finally, to wrap up this week's Feel Good Friday, check out this blissful moment captured in the drive through lane at a McDonald's. One of the workers spread joy to the community while having fun directing traffic. He is shown on the Good News Movement's Instagram page dancing away in the parking lot, having the time of his life. <laughs> For more positive stories to brighten your day, head over to our website at WNCT.com and click on our live stream tab. Reporting on Feel Good Friday, I'm Kelsey O'Donnell. Now downloading live at Whirligig Stage. Hi, I'm Lauren Pate, and today I'm here with the new Aquarian. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, Lauren. Pretty, pretty well. well. It's going pretty very good. Well. So how long have you guys been playing music together? 
uh, together. We've been playing since May, June. Um, so can you guys describe your sound for me and what kind of music you play? Um, it bounces around a lot. Um, like I said, it's a solo project of mine in studio, so we just kind of do whatever it strikes me to record. Um, like the next release is going to be an all acoustic folksy kind of album, um, which as you just saw is very different from what we're doing right now. Right. Um, but generally it's like an indie garage rock. Um, so you have any albums coming out soon or uh, any music? Yeah, so I, the first full length album came out back in June and that's what we were touring on. So in terms of the writing process, can you tell me what that's like, how you write a song, what, how that um, goes? Hmm. It, it just kind of starts with like, a guitar riff or an idea like a concept um, most of the time I'll get the general idea of the song written down or, or in my head that is and uh, come up with a drum beat to it and record the drum beat because everything's based like you know around the drums rhythmically yeah Instagram's the main way to keep up with it I post whenever yeah. we have shows I try to post on the daily just to keep the music kind of flowing and keep the people that care updated about what's going on you, you can know so check out our band camp yeah, Bandcamp, the new aquarian.bandcamp.com. That's where I release all the music, not like through Spotify and all that kind of stuff. Um, most of it is on Spotify, but Bandcamp helps out a lot. It's more direct. Nice, nice. Well, thank you guys for being here with thank us you. today. Thank you. Super great excited time. to have you here. Yeah, so everybody stay tuned for some original music by the new Aquarian. Methodist Home for Children, our work is always essential and the need is always growing as we continue to take in children. Now more than ever, we need loving foster homes willing to provide safe, stable homes and donations to fight abuse and neglect in the Pitt County area. See how you can foster or help by visiting mhfc.org today. Change a life for the better with Methodist Home for Children because every child deserves a chance. Oh, you did not tell the truth. That's not true. No, I'm done. You are not! <laughs> you said you wanted a light bulb moment, and I'm going to give it to you. Chicks rule. Girl power! Jerry! Jerry! In all these years, we should have had a cheerleader on this show. Welcome to the Kelly Clarkson Show! How am I going to tell her that she can't pick up her children? How about this? You're not picking up the kids, you're drunk. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of the East Daily Download. Got the uh, avocados de luchadoras down east. Uh, love this hat. Very nice. The colors and the little avocado logo. Got this uh, just commemorative little training bat. That way, you know, you saw how I was doing the batting cage. I want to work on my swing oh, just a bit. Yeah, you're ready for the big leagues. Yeah, yeah. Great Flush. avocado shirt. This is all the hot merch right now. Mm. And that hat over there, John, the uh, one with the backwards. Yeah, logo. yeah. So Alexa mentioned to us that this was not actually the way it was supposed to be, that it got flipped. So this is kind of a collector's item. So buy now while supplies last. <coughs> Sell it on eBay. <coughs> okay, we don't do that. Okay, sir. I mean, not that I know of. Um, so I think I'm going to go with uh, the avocado shirt and the avocados hat. You're just going to go with the bat? I'm just going to go with the bat for right now. It just feels good. Like having Does it take out your frustrations? And yeah, yeah, yeah. On this nice, plush, soft wood ducks ball. It's, uh, honestly, it's great. Um, Keep it around the office, you know, just in case. Bryce, which one did you want? Was it this one or was it this one? This one? Okay. This is the ponytail hat, so she can put her ponytail through it as well. Seafoam green. So there we go. So we will get all this stuff. And... Bid you adieu for the week. Well, I mean, I won't get it here, but I'm going to put in an order for it online as soon as I get home. Or on the phone, on, yeah. your, on your phone. Yeah. You could do it that way, too. Could do it that so, way. So, anyway, yeah, buy stuff online at the Woodex team store. Come out if the season has started and support the team. Thank you to Alexa and the whole team here for letting us come out this week and Absolutely. spend it's been, the time out here. Yeah, it's been a blast just getting the tour around this, and here's hoping that everything opens up with this soon. Yes. And uh, for all the latest information from the Wood Ducks, of course, follow their social media so you'll get the latest on whether the season is happening yep. or what the, up, what the update is with the season. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. 
And we're on Facebook and Instagram, so don't forget that as well. Yep. East Daily Download hashtag. And uh, I think that's going to do it. Yeah, who knows where we're going next week, but we'll see you there. Or at least he will. Bye-bye, everybody. Someone with honor and strength must carry the torch. Who are you? I'm Stargirl. Stargirl. Tuesday at 8 on Eastern North Carolina CW.